Well, Gary, a uh, fine run of form comes to an end. A disappointing night. Yeah, I thought um, disappointing for many, many reasons. But, um, you know, when you get an international break, you hope that you can you can restore that same type of performance level and the same type of energy into the next game. It's not always easy after two weeks. We've done it well previously, but um, just seemed to lose a little bit of continuity tonight, whether it was the injury to Specs as well, just having to change the team, slightly different look to a team. But certainly first half, I was really disappointed. You know, we just weren't at it as a team. You know, we just looked at, I said to the players at half-time, we looked like we're at 70 70 percent of what we are you know whether it was someone closing someone down or whether it was a chance to move forward with the ball and we turned around and played safe backwards and when you do that you know you just you can't really get any flow to your game and i thought forest if they listen they've, they've, they've not won in six but every team that hasn't won in six is going to come out the start of a game is going to really give it a go to see if they can turn the fortunes around i thought they did i thought forest showed a little bit more energy and aggression in the way they ran today. Um, so I was really disappointed with that first half. Second half, I almost changed it at half-time. Um, second half, slightly better. Um, but in the end, you know, we end up, we end up at 2-1. Forrest conceded a lot, of, um, a lot of late goals, and that was something I said to the players at half-time. And we just felt as though we needed to stay close, you know, with 20 minutes to go. And we had that real bit of pressure once we scored, 15 minutes maybe where we actually start to play quite well. We start to pin them in, we start to put them under real, um, a real panic about them and about the, the stadium. Um, and I think there was one moment where shots went down the right, looked to me like he got fouled clearly, gets up, touches the lad, he rolls over, gives a foul against him, which was typical of a referee this evening. And then they go the other end and, and end up um, scoring to make it 3-1. So, you know, had we gone another five minutes at 2-1, maybe the last 10, 15, 20 minutes would have given us opportunities. But we didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve it. We didn't pass the ball well enough. We didn't move off the ball um, well enough. Um, and I felt defensively, you know, unlike us, but uh, we were poor. You know, I thought the goals were really poor ones to concede. A very fair and honest assessment as ever. And I guess the players know themselves that they were below the usual standards that we've come to expect of them this season. Yeah, and that's what I said to them in there. Um, I said, you know, uh, you, you, we, we've lost one game in 11. And the problem with that is you've got to keep going. You've got to keep maintaining them standards. You can't drop off for, for even half a game, let alone a whole game. Um, and that's what it looked like. It looked like, it looked like Forrest really wanted desperately to get something out of the game. It looked like we were turning up off the back of one defeat in 11, that we'd just do the same things and we'd get something out of it, you know, and we, we can't be like that. We've said it before, you know, unless we're at full tilt every game, then we won't win games and we won't even draw games, you know. So, um, disappointed with that. Again, listen, I could have, I could have, uh, I could have dug a few of the players out in there after the game, but we've had a good run. We've done a lot of good things. Um, tonight was a really poor performance. I know that. They came in at half-time, said exactly the same things I was going to say about a minute later. And at the end of the game, they're saying exactly the same things. You know, it's not good enough from us. So, uh, I think the players will reflect and they know and we've got an opportunity, fortunately, at home on Tuesday to go and put it right. Jonathan Spector missed out due to injury. What's the prognosis there with Jonathan? Yeah, he had a slight quad strain. Um, that um, I mean, Wednesday we felt he'd be be okay. I uh, spoke to the, the medical team. We thought he'd be okay. Um, yesterday morning we came in. I uh, did my press in the morning. Uh, felt he'd be all right, and then a real late call that he was struggling. Um, which again, listen, I'm not blaming the medical staff, but it, I don't think it helped in the sense of that I then had to make a very quick decision on which team to play. Um, and I don't think, I don't, you know, you can argue that breaking up shots and Morrow, I thought Robbo was, was fine tonight, I thought he did OK. Um, I don't think it was him to blame at all, but maybe breaking up that, that uh, back four and ending up with shots right back who perhaps didn't look as comfortable out there. Um, might have contributed, but I felt the whole team performance today certainly wasn't wasn't good enough. Uh, and I think we have to look at that uh, mainly, you know, as a group. And, and, and that was a disappointing thing. I thought there were some really poor decisions. I felt that, you know, once or twice the goalkeeper gets a touch off Clayton, gets him booked, rolls around, gets him booked. I don't like to see that. I don't think there's any need to see that at all. But 
Uh, I thought Forrest were better than us tonight and, and thoroughly deserved the win. As you say, a chance to bounce back Tuesday, Rotherham at St Andrews. New owners in the club as well by Monday, so a lot to get, get the teeth into. Yeah, absolutely. Well, again, you know, I think you, 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 you always have to reflect on a good run. Uh, listen, if we'd have been sat here and said that we've lost our second game after 12, um, I think we'd have probably been really pleased. Um, you know, we're disappointed with this evening, but again, we've got to use it as an opportunity to maybe jolt a few and, and maybe make a few realise that we've got to be at it all the time, not just some of the time. So, uh, but yeah, listen, loads of positivity, not too much tonight, but um, I still think we're moving forward in the right direction. Like you say, new owners coming in. Probably not going to impact us straight away initially, is it, on the pitch, but I think would hopefully add to um, a little bit of a feel-good factor choosing and spur us on to, to getting a result.